Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It has been such a long time since I've made a video. It's been actually over a month. It was like the last second to last week of October that I actually uploaded. Well, the reason for that is I actually got a new job and it's been hard to find time to make videos and stuff like that where I've come home, where I go to work, I come home and then I'm just tired the whole night and then I go to sleep and I just do it over and over and over again for the past month and everything like that. So I've been trying to figure out, trying to get used to a schedule and stuff like that and I'm finally kind of getting used to it and kind of getting in the groove. So hopefully we can make some more consistent videos for you guys and actually help, you know, help you guys learn some, some video stuff and everything. And speaking of that, today we're talking about DaVinci Resolve and we're going to go over how to actually export your DaVinci Resolve project files. If you're used to Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro, you'll know that there is a folder with all of the project files. You can just go in there, copy and paste wherever you want. It's super easy, super nice. Well, with DaVinci Resolve, I haven't actually been able to find a folder. I think that's because there isn't one. Um, it turns out you have to actually go through and create a file for it yourself and then use that to export the, uh, the, the timeline and then move it to another computer and everything. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve and get right on into it. Okay, so finally DaVinci Resolve wanted to open up and not crash. And we're here in our timeline, right? We have all of our clips here and stuff like that. And we want to transfer this timeline from our surface to our desktop so we can edit it and be awesome. First, you want to start out, go up here to file and go to export project. The keyboard shortcut for this is control E. Um, so you can click on that. It'll take you to somewhere where you want to export it. We're just going to leave it as testing the new Mavic Mini. It's going to save it as a .drp file and go ahead and hit save. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And I'm saving it to my SSD. Um, so, I actually has all of the files for that footage, all the footage for that timeline on the SSD. So, I'm kind of cheating. Uh, yours probably won't be on it. Um, so you will have to later go through and actually transfer some files. We'll get into that later. All right, and now we've taken our project file. We've taken it from our other computer, our Surface, and now we've plugged our SSD into our desktop, and now we're going to go ahead and import our project file. So open up your project manager here, and somewhere in the gray area on the right side here, go to import, right-click, and hit import project. Navigate to where you've put your other project. Again, mine's on my SSD, super easy to find. Testing the new Mavic Mini, bam. And it's gonna be a .drp file, I think for probably DaVinci Resolve project or something like that. Go ahead and hit open. Now when that happens, you're gonna see that the thumbnail for the video comes up. You can just click ahead and click on it. Boom, now it's open. Now this is where my little project here will differ from yours. Yours will come in looking just like these DJI clips. Everything will be dark red and it will say media not found and all this stuff. Do not worry, nothing's messed up. You just need to go through and relink your clips. So if you go up here to your uh, media pool and right click on a media that is missing, you can go through and replace it. You can relink the selected clips, change the source folder, reveal in media storage, open file location, whatever one of those five ways or whatever that you feel comfortable to do that. Usually I just do relink selected clips or change source folder and that usually works for everything that I do. Uh, you just have to go through and find your files again, which means if you're transferring your timeline, you also need to transfer your footage. It does not come with it. So if you're giving this like to a friend or you're transferring it just from your own computer to your other own computer, make sure you transfer your footage with it. That's like the most important step for this whole process because otherwise you'll be left with media offline and you're going to be like, oh shoot, did I mess up? No, you didn't mess up. You just need to transfer your footage so that way it can find it. Now listen, I've cheated and I actually have my SSD set up as the same letter drive and everything and I've already gone through and done some like backend stuff for all this because I've actually done this before for a couple other projects. Yeah, I've cheated a little bit. But yours will come in and it'll be super easy to fix. Don't worry about it. All right, and guys, that's about it. Even though it's really simple, it actually took me quite a while to figure this out. Again, because I'm used to Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro where there is a folder and I can actually just pull it from, this was a little bit of a different thought for me. I didn't even think about this. So I actually had to go through and look up some other videos and stuff like that. 
and yeah i finally figured it out with some help and now i'm sharing it along with you guys and hopefully this will help you expand your knowledge about dementia resolve and hopefully help you make better videos so yeah that's about it um thank you guys very much for watching also thank you very much for 500 subscribers um i didn't post it all in november and you guys absolutely just crushed it like we grew by like 40 subscribers or something like that like we grew absolutely a ton and i just want to thank you guys so much we're even at 525 now so thank you very much to those of you that have recently subscribed and those of you that have continued to subscribe even though i haven't been here in like a month and everything like that but like i said we are working at figuring out our schedule working on figuring out kind of when we can make videos and be comfortable with all that stuff and actually have the energy and time to do so and stuff like that i just gotta like you know ramp up and everything but thank you very much for sticking around and uh, here's to a thousand and all that stuff we also unlock community posts now so hopefully i can do some more posting and some more interacting without having to go through and make a whole video but of course the goal is still to figure out time to make more videos so that's about it thanks for watching i appreciate it i feel like here i should do a mkbhd where he's like thanks for watching peace but i don't know it's not me Anyways, you guys are absolutely amazing. Have a fantastic day, and until next time, take care.